Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ramnath. In news in detail, as many as 26 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Friday. Where there is the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,750. On the other hand, 1,271 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from the concerned medical authorities. Where there is the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 73,385, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district has now improved to 86.45%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 85,463 with 636 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a break up of the deaths concern medical officials revealed that of the total casualties 482 and 1984 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively while as many as 284 persons are from outside Nagpur district. <coughs> Maharashtra Badminton Association officials requested Sports Minister Sunil Kedar for resumption of badminton activities in their attempt to resume the badminton activities in the state. The Maharashtra Badminton Association officials met State Sports Minister Sunil Kedar at his residence in Nagpur on Friday. The MBA President Arun Lakhani and MBA Secretary Mangesh Kashikar had a meeting with Kedar and explained to him about the importance of resuming the badminton activities in Maharashtra. Lakhani and Kashikar handed over the letter to Kedar and urged him to take the necessary steps so that badminton practice can restart in the entire state. Due to COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown, all the indoor sports halls have been closed since March 15. Many coaches and their dependents family members are suffering and going through a tough time due to lack of income in the last 7 months. Nagpur Municipal Corporation's nuisance detection squad on Friday took action has been taken against 222 citizens for not wearing masks and collected a total fine of rupees 1 lakh 11000 from them in the last few days the search team have taken action against 11006 citizens and recovered a total fine of rupees 38 lakh 62000 from the citizens 41 persons under Lakshmi Nagar zone 60 under Dharampet zone 14 under Haruman Nagar zone 13 under Dantoli zone 9 under Nehru Nagar zone 16 under Gandhi Bag zone 16 under Satanji Pura zone 16 under Lakarjan zone 16 under Ashi Nagar zone 13 under Mangalwari zone and four persons with NMC headquarters have been penalized the action was supervised by the chief of the NDS Veer Sen Tambe so far rupees 27 lakh 60000 has been recovered from 5536 citizens since the implementation of the 500 rupees fine rules Devendra Fadnavis leader of opposition in the state assembly has written a letter to chief minister Uddhav Thackeray demanding strict action against accused police officials of Lakarjanish police station in the case of manhandling lawyer Ankita K Shah Earlier this week a video of a woman being manhandled by a female constable inside the police station had gone viral. The video was from Lakhargaj police station and upon analysis it was found that it dates back to March 25, 2020. While the woman an advocate by profession and an RTI activist Ankita Kamlesh Shah has leveled up allegation of harassment and thrashing against Lakhargaj cops while senior police inspector Lakhargaj Narendra Hivre had defended the police action. saying that the woman was illegally filming inside the police station and in the process of asking her to stop she was manhandled by female cops in separate incidents two persons in the city were cheated of a combined amount of rupees 2.98 lakhs the incident have taken place under the jurisdiction of gittikadan and wadi police station in the first incident under gittikadan police station a 37 year old complainant was trying to reaching his wife's sim card and an amount of rupees 444 but somehow the recharge was not successful so he tried to customer care number upon dialing the person at the other end assured refund and asked his bank details for same and sent a link the unsuspecting complainant clicked on the link and as a result 80000 rupees was refunded off from his account under wadi police station's jurisdiction another unknown caller managed to similarly cheat a victim of rupees 2 lakhs 18000 through electronic means 
Police have registered a case under Section 420 of the IPC and are probing further. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.